Instant Pot's IP Lux model. And this year, the manufacturer introduced Instant Pot IP Duo. They made a few improvements over the last model, so let me show you what those are. First, they added a couple of slots in the handles so you can hold the lid. When you're finished making dinner, no more trying to figure out where or how to put the lid on the counter. They've also included a new low-profile steamer rack which makes it with handles, which makes it easier to lower and raise the foods from the pressure cooker. The digital display is 30% larger, which means it's easier to read from across the kitchen. And let me turn Instant Pot around. I'm going to show you a couple more improvements. And they include a little rack for the cord, so it doesn't accidentally go underneath the cooker, and a condensation collector to prevent any leakage. And one more thing. I noticed this right away when I pulled Instant Pot out of the box. It has a slimmer, smaller body, so it takes up less space, but it still cooks the same capacity as the previous model. Let's talk about safety now. Instant Pot has 10 safety features, and they include a locking lid, a thermal and electrical fuse, leak detection, lid position alerts, uh, overpressure protection, double anti-blockage vents, and Instant Pot is also UL certified. The Underwriters Laboratory set the most stringent pressure cooker safety standards in North America. Instant Pot improved the design of the steam handle. The previous one had too many positions. This one only has one venting and one sealing position. Also, the previous one could be put on backwards. This one cannot be put on backwards. It can only be put in place in the right position. And here's an interesting technical tidbit. Inside the steam release handle, most electric pressure cooker manufacturers make a little cone out of plastic or metal. Instant Pot has made this cone out of silicone, and that's to make a tighter seal and prevent any steam leakage. Instant Pot's new model detects the position of the lid. If the lid is in the correct position for the cooking program, the display will say, lid. And it also makes a little sound when the lid is closed, opened, and removed. What I like about Instant Pot is its convenience. You could really set it and forget it. That's because it has a microprocessor. It's like a digital brain that regulates time, temperature, and pressure. Instant Pot makes rice, multigrains, it steams vegetables and seafood, and it also makes yogurt. But it can also uh, slow cook and saute. And speaking of sauteing, this is a browning function. And uh, this function can be used before pressure cooking and after pressure cooking. Let's compare each of these functions. Because of pressure, Instant Pot steams faster than a conventional steamer. And unlike most slow cookers, you can saute and brown the ingredients before slow cooking in the same pot. The slow cooker program can be set anywhere from 30 minutes to 20 hours, and you can choose low, medium, or high temperature. And speaking of browning, you can saute in one of three temperatures as well. And browning can be done before cooking, and you can use the same button to reduce liquids after pressure cooking. You can pressure cook at two levels now, low and high pressure. Low pressure is about 7 PSI, and high pressure about 11. But here's my favorite new function, the yogurt button. You can pasteurize milk or make yogurt with the same button. And you can make either the yogurt directly in the Instant Pot or in little vases. And I'm going to show you how this works a little bit later. These new seven functions mean no more standing around or waiting at the stove. It's truly a set it and forget it cooking appliance. Instant Pot comes with a stainless steel inner pot. It's solid, durable, and doesn't have any non-stick coating you have to worry about peeling off. The base has an aluminum sandwich. That means between the base and this outer cap, there's an aluminum disc to help distribute heat evenly. The aluminum is never in contact with the food. It's also in a high polished stainless steel, which makes it easy to clean and dishwasher safe too. Instant Pot comes in two sizes, the five and the six liter. I recommend the readers of HitPressureCooking.com to go with the larger size for the taller cooking area for when you want to pressure cook more than one thing at once. I'm gonna show you how to use the Instant Pot now. First, you add the food and ingredients. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use water. Then you twist on the lid. and choose the correct steam handle position. For the pressure cooking programs, we put sealing, and slow cooking programs, venting. Don't worry, you don't have to remember all of this. It's written in the quick start guide. Now all there's left to do is choose a cooking program. I'm gonna turn this around a little bit so I can see it. Each cooking program has also um, two other uh, adjustments. You can push the adjust button to see the other suggestions for the cooking program, or you can manually change the cooking time by pushing the plus or minus buttons. You can push it one at a time for each minute, or you press and hold to have it go through minutes much more quickly. In a few seconds, Instant Pot will beep, and that will tell you it knows what to do, and it's going to start doing it, and then you can walk away. At 
First, the food inside the Instant Pot will be brought to a boil. This will produce steam, which right now is pushing air out of Instant Pot. Once enough air is pushed out of the Instant Pot and enough steam is generated, Instant Pot will begin to build pressure. This signal will pop up to lock the lid completely closed. And once the lid is locked and the contents are under pressure, there's no way to open the pressure cooker. When the steam stops coming out of the Instant Pot, the cooking program will begin. Once the program starts, the cooking time begins to count down. When pressure cooking is finished, Instant Pot will go into the keep warm mode. The display will begin counting up with a little L. That means your food will be kept warm and at a safe temperature for up to 10 hours or just until you're ready to serve dinner. There are two ways to open the Instant Pot. The first one is with natural release and that just means you turn off the cooker and wait for the pressure to come down by itself. The second way is the quick release and that means you just turn the steam release handle to the venting position. Once pressure is released, you can remove the lid and enjoy dinner. You can make almost anything in the Instant Pot IP Duo, from soups to chilies, stews, steamed vegetables and meats, rice, risotto, fall off the bone meat, and desserts too. Making one pot meals is a snack and they're quick as well. The Instant Pot IP Duo takes place by the conventional steamer, rice cooker, slow cooker, yogurt maker, pressure cooker, and more.